our previous video, we were testing promises that were successful. Testing rejected promises is a bit more challenging. Describe maybe not for promises that may not succeed. And we'll do a describe only since we want to hang in here for a bit. And a quick review should work. Should work. Any World of Warcraft fans? He did it. No, he did it. If we return promise.resolve, it means a successful promise, and then Mocha knows how to handle that. It says, hey, this promise has a dot, then it resolved, it worked. We're all good. Run our test, it works. However, should fail is a bit more challenging because we're asserting that it should fail. In this case, return promise reject. And we run our unit test. Mocha immediately interprets that as a failed promise, which is technically correct, except we did this on purpose. And we need to signal to Mocha that, no, 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 we want it to fail. We want to assert that it did fail, not assert that it succeeded. And asserting a then is the default way that Mocha handles promises of succeeding or failing. So we need to reverse this. One way to do that is to go back to our callback syntax. So we can get the result here. Then is something that we don't want to have happen. It should not succeed. The then is actually interpreted as a failure. So say done new error. Should have failed. And the catch, which we do expect, and we don't care about the arguments that it gets, we will actually call done with no parameters. So it's successful. Again, if you call done with something, anything, an error, string, doesn't matter. Mocha says that's a failure. And if you call it with nothing, it considers it a success. We run our test and you can see now we've reversed it to fail. We say, by the way, if you get a success, we're not expecting a success. We're hoping that this fails, which this is a hard-coded failure. This is a hard-coded success. And that's great. But the problem with that is that we've now gone back to going away from our promise syntax. So let's create ourselves a little predicate here and rewrite this test to be a little bit more readable. So we'll say promise should fail at life. And we use our magical P instead of O variable. P stands for promise. And this predicate function here will actually do a Missy Elliott style, flip it and reverse it. So it'll interpret successes at failures and failures as successes. So we'll say success, failure, a normal promise here, and P for predicate. But the then is actually going to get mad. And the then is going to do the same thing as before and say, failure, new error, should have failed. Brah. And our catch will interpret errors as successes. And we'll be explicit here without the error syntax because we want to make sure that there's no parameters here. Now we can use this predicate and we can go back to our regular syntax. Should fail predicate. And we can use the normal promise syntax without putting the done here and return our promise should fail with a promise reject. Now if we run our test, we'll see the third one succeeds and we actually flip how an error is determined. So if we say, no, it worked, Zolb. Now if we flip it, it failed, it should have failed. And given the fact that this is a predicate, if you really wanted to, you could go to one line. <laughs> So it's even more terse. And if you want to do one line, that's completely fine too. But that predicate, it's up to you. So those are the two ways that you can unit test a failed promise or reject it as it's called or reject past tense. You can either go back to the callback syntax and manually call it with no parameters. And any positive response you say is actually a failure. Or you can use the predicate syntax where you simply just reverse a promise to be the opposite value. And then every promise you put in there will get reversed and do that as well. Go back to the normal I return promise. Mocha knows what to do with it. So if I return a promise to Mocha, it knows that a dot then is a success. Any dot catch is a failure. And if we reverse it, then we can pass in failures and know that they in fact succeeded.